I've got some brands, no brands, miscellaneous bags that I don't show that often on my channel. But if you're interested in seeing that collection, then stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave today. And today is a collaboration with my friends here on YouTube. Happiness Sparkles says what and my pursuit of happiness and their names are Susanna, Ivana, and Francis. So if you don't know them, then get to know them on their channels. They're excellent super YouTubers and they're my friends and we've collabed together several times now and once you subscribe to them and subscribe to me as well and they're going to do their miscellaneous handbags that they own collection video and uh, let's get started. <laughs> so this first one I'm just going to go down the line here. This I bought, I must have saw this on a YouTube channel before I did YouTube. And this is actually for sale. Uh, it's a giant, what looks like a uh, Chanel, but obviously it's not. Uh, it's really nice and it has red and it has the back pocket, the red and the chain. I believe this is a PU. It's not leather, but it it has the same setup, I guess, of probably a, like a jumbo Chanel bag, but there's what it looks like on the inside. Even has the middle compartment for the lipstick and right here. I've only used this a couple of times. It's really nice. I just don't grab for red bags hardly ever, and when I do, it's either my Dooney Essex bag or it's my Coach Tabby. So this is my first one. I don't even know where I got it. <laughs> There's no name, but this is a, a beautiful red chevron pattern. So if you're interested, I will link my Poshmark and Mercari because a couple of these are listed. Next is the clear bag for stadiums or concerts i you know you need at least one clear bag in your collection and i happened to get this during galentine's i'll link that video down below if you missed it we did uh galentine's on youtube here and uh, i got this from my gal pal melissa and subscribe to her too while you're at it <laughs> and it has silver hardware adjustable strap. I believe this is on Amazon. So it's just a clear purse. Next up we have this vibrant neon green dupe of a, I want to say a Bottega Veneta Jody, but I could be wrong about it. It's, it's very neon. Let me pull it back here to see if it it's coming off a little bit lighter than what it is, but still neon green. Silver hardware, a small little bag. Music was never my bag anyway. Bags are my bag because I'm launching a bag line. They're bat leather and they're tiny, like bats. With the little knot, and I can't remember. I probably got this off Amazon. I'm not sure. But it just has that interior. It is cute. I just don't grab for it. So this one is also for sale for cheap if you want it. It looks, it's a cool woven bag and it's neon green. <laughs> and I'm not including my Timu or my Quince bags or my Walmart bags. So this is just the other ones. <laughs> this one is from a local company in my town that they're a leather company and I was working for the election years back and I went into the store and the smell of the leather whew, was amazing and they had purses and I just liked the detail 
on this purse and the color of this leather. And it's kind of changed over time. It was a little bit lighter when I first bought it. So, But this is also a pew pew uh, bag, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so you could put that in the side. So it's handy. It's got like a dark gunmetal hardware. And you open it up. It's got two magnets and then this... The two sides unzip from that side and then it opens to some compartments in here and then, you know, a little area right there. So that's pretty handy. I need to wear this again, but yeah, it just zips up on the sides and then it has, oh, it still smells good. It has a middle compartment and it's brown and there's the strap, zipper pocket and a couple of, or one side pocket and a very cute tassel so that's my next one it just come up it came from a leather company in my town the next one the next one i'm including is my wilson's leather i don't even know how old this is <laughs> silver hardware a crinkly type of smooth leather. I'll get a close-up up here. And it's it's not patent leather, but it has a shine to it. And this is the back of the bag. Here's the bottom. It's a nice handle drop, too. It's that east-west style. I, I can't part with it. <laughs> and then it has a magnetic closure here. And it's just a zippered... And this is what it looks like on the inside. It has the old uh, little Nokia phone right uh, wherever it is right there. <laughs> a zippered pocket, a slip pocket, and then another zippered pocket. And here is where you can see the logo, which is Wilson's Leather. I'm not sure how old it is, but I still love it. And I like the... I like that they're bringing back more silver hardware. So this is my Wilson's leather. Not sure how old it is. <laughs> this next one is a brand I worked with that is no longer on the internet. I don't know why. But this is genuine leather like a camera bag. And it has a back pocket and that dark gunmetal type of hardware. And it has that front compartment right here. And I like that it's light interior. And then it has the big compartment. Which it has this cool strap. I love the strap on this. And then I added a coach charm to it. But there's the hardware up close. And yeah, the interior looks like this. And see, there is no brand... But I'm so glad it's a, a lighter interior. And the strap is so cute with it. So that's my camera bag from... I believe the company was L-A-S-N-V. But I'll have to let you know right here if I'm wrong. This next one is a big, slouchy, comfy bag. And it's a nice shoulder drop. It's just real squishy. I believe... I might have gotten this from Walmart, so I did add one Walmart bag since I hardly ever show this. It's just a big, giant, <laughs> slouchy poof, and it's very soft, and my daughter likes it. <laughs> but it's just a opening like that with a zipper and a slit, and it just kind of magnetizes like a mouth closed. But yeah, it's a pretty tan beige color. Super comfortable to wear, wear over your arm. This next one I'm going to be wearing this summer. It is so cute. Perfect for spring and summer, but it's that racket, raffia hard square. Kind of, it's not straw. I think it's called raffia. I'm not sure. <laughs> Has a button closure. 
a little thin strap. It's non-adjustable or detachable, so there's that. But super cute. Look at the back. Love the design. It's a little rectangle shape, and it's just a button closure. And you open it like that for a few things. That I believe this would be really cute for a date night. Date night bag, and I like how it closes. And stuff won't fall out because of the gussets. So, it's a little box bag. Cute for summer. This next one is a Elliot Luca. And it's metallic. I've showed it a few times on my channel. I'm throwing it in here because I don't show it that much. And the, the woven leather is beautiful. And it's like a silvery, gold, bronze... It's hard to explain. Hobo bag. Nice and big. And here's the bottom of it. Super pretty. Here's the logo. Elliot Luca. Here's the straps. Again, it's metallic. And it, it has a zipper pocket. It's really huge. And it has two side pockets with a light interior, which I like. And this is just a magnetic closure. Again, this one fits so comfortably over the arm as well. And finally, <laughs> this will be the wrap. This is it. This is my TJ Maxx bag that I bought there. That's the back. This is the front. And this brand is called Madison West. And they always carry in TJ Maxx. So I really like these wooden handles with the gold little studs and the detail right here. So cute makes noise you and then here's the back there's feet on the bottom gold hardware and it magnetizes on the top and has two side compartments and then the middle compartment which has the brand on here it says Madison West I don't know if you can see it <laughs> and it has this strap with it I didn't pay much for this. It was probably $30. Uh, this is, of course, vegan leather, PU leather, but so cute. I mean, you can't tell. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful bag. I still love it. I need to pull this out. It's so cute. So that would be the end of my miscellaneous collection of bags that I haven't shown or I, I have shown maybe. But maybe it's been a long time. I don't know. <laughs> so go ahead and watch Says What, My Pursuit of Happiness, and Happiness Sparkles. Go watch what their collection of miscellaneous bags are. And go subscribe to all of us. We would appreciate it. And thank you for watching through my handbag collection of different brands that, or non-brands. <laughs> So I thank you again. Don't forget to hit the bell. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I have a goal of 2,000 subs this year. And if you like this video, go ahead and thumbs it up. It helps with the algorithm and it helps me on my YouTube channel grow. So again, thank you for collabing with me again, ladies. And go watch their videos. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.